This comedian just got a motorcycle. I wanted a motorcycle, so I got one with training wheels and a little bell. They were all sold out of baskets. Let's welcome the rebellious Julie Scoggins. Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, my husband has started coming with me on my comedy gigs. I've been doing this 18 years. I've been doing him 26. <laughs> I think that's how you stay married a long time is one of you leave every now and again, you know. And uh, my secret to being married a long time is se separate bathrooms. His is the master bathroom. Mine is at Holiday Inn Express. All right, that's... We check into the hotel in Los Angeles, right? I come back from the ice machine, he is looking at porn on the TV. I don't care. 26 years, it takes some of the heat off of me. I don't care, right? Soon as I walk in, he switches it to fishing. I was like, hell, put it back. You already know how to fish. <laughs> this is so good to get to be on TV. It is. I need, a, I need to get on television. I, need, I want a commercial endorsement. There's a lot of comedians are selling products now, you know. You got to be careful who you sign up with, though, because you know you're going to get a lifetime supply. Of, you know, whatever you're repping. My luck, it'd be Cialis or some crap. That is the last thing we need at my house. Let me tell y'all something. I've been, me and my, we've been together 26 years and he is still the biggest horn dog that I've ever, if I drop something on the floor, I better kick it to the corner before I pick it up. That's all I'm saying. I can remember when Cialis commercials were new on television. Remember that? There was a couple doing an activity like laundry folding clothes or something. Remember that? And the, their fingertips would touch. Oh! <laughs> when the moment is right. Yeah, yeah. And then what happened? The walls crumbled down, remember? And trees and bushes and stuff sprung up. Right then and there, would you not be forgetting all about that piece of butt and starting to wonder what the hell's our deductible? I mean, we don't have flood insurance. There's a waterfall in the living room. I'm just... Here's how I'd do it. If I was going to do a, a Cialis commercial. Okay. I want to do it real TV though. No do-overs. All right. It's real, real TV. So I'm doing the laundry by my damn self. I'm trying to retrieve a sock that's stuck in my dryer. And I'm bending over ever so delicately. I'm tall now, this is eye level. I'm 6'2", so this is, maybe there's a thong peeking out the top. You know. I'm sorry about this, I'll, I'll turn this way. I'm, re <laughs> I'm reaching up in there. There's a thong peeking out. I said that. <laughs> About that time, Sir hump -a -Lot just happens to be coming down the hall. <laughs> Rounds the corner. Gets a big eye full of this. And the last thing I hear before my head hits the dryer <laughs> is, hey! It means brace for impact. It's sort of like the last thing a squirrel hears before a hawk swoops down on him in the field. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, folks. I'm Julie Scoggins. Thank you, Aprilia.